Well, uh, rotator cuff injuries can uh, manifest themselves in, in many ways, but most commonly when someone injures the rotator cuff or the area around the shoulder, they will experience pain in the area, uh, but not always pain right at the shoulder. You know, uh, people perceive the, the rotator cuff to be in this area, and that is true, but you can get pain coming from the shoulder all the way down to your mid arm region, even almost down to your elbow sometimes. So it's not uncommon if you injure the shoulder or the rotator cuff for that matter that you can have pain and swelling all the way down to your elbow. So that, that's number one. Uh, these injuries can happen commonly from slips, falls. Uh, very commonly people say that you know they try to reach for something at the top drawer and they slip or they try to lift the garage door and it's too heavy. Uh, mechanisms like that are very common. Uh, initially, when someone has an injury like this, the, the, the tenets of treatment uh, are, are threefold, really. Um, resting it and trying to get some ice on it, if you can, uh, in the first 24 to 36 hours, and then uh, taking anti-inflammatories. And then after that acute phase, then you usually want to get people into physical therapy and then follow up with your doctor on a regular scheduled basis because if it doesn't get better it may be a more serious injury like a rotator cuff tear.